Race 10, the County Fair Challenge for three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Win, play, show, exact, away, drink, $15,000 on the line. Number one, D.B. Brody, owned by Charles Lennon and Allen and Jacqueline Bowen of Monmouth and Mount Sterling, trained by Allen Bowen, Peoria native Sam Woodger is up. 1A, Nick J. Cole is owned by the same ownership, trained by Allen Bowen with Allen Bowen in the bike. Number two, Fox Valley Michael is owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware. Urban Miller trains Andy Miller drives. 2A is Fox Valley Riddler, owned also by Tanamira, trained also by Urban Miller with Tony Morgan driving. Number three, Master Fox, owned by H. Phil Pierce of Carmi, by Buddy and Clay Simpson of Fairfield, trained and driven by Buddy Simpson. 3A is BR's Punch, owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, Richard Klein of Mount Carmel, trained by Buddy Simpson, Clay Simpson is up. Number four, Gold Dust Mike, is owned by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale, trained and driven by Joe Hott. Number five is My Boy Blake, owned by Brian Lohman of Broadlands and by Brian Kaiser, trained by Brian Lohman. The driver is Michael Osting. Number six, Quick Yankee, is owned by Derry and Gary Birch of Willow Hill, trained by Derry Birch. The driver, John David Finn. And number seven, Holly Hill Neutron, is owned by Larry and Michelle Binkley of Charleston, Larry Binkley is the trainer, and he is also the driver. Post time in less than five minutes. Here they come for the latest installment of the County Fair Challenge. They're off and pacing. Holly Hill Neutron fires out for the lead. Fox Valley Riddler goes with him as they head down into the first turn. And Master Fox is also moving up to join them, but quickly ducks in toward the rail to settle in third. Holly Hill Neutron makes the top by a length. Fox Valley Riddler second. Master Fox goes third. DB Brody is racing in fourth. Fox Valley Michael is fifth. The gap of two to Gold Dust Mike is sixth. My Boy Blake is seventh. Quick Yankee is eighth. BR's Punch is ninth. Nick J. Cole is tenth and last. 27 seconds for the opening quarter. Holly Hill Neutron leads it. Here comes D.B. Brody up on the outside from fourth into third into second. D.B. Brody is trying to track down the leader. D.B. Brody gets the lead on the outside by a neck. Holly Hill Neutron is second. Fox Valley Riddler third. Master Fox fourth. Fox Valley Michael is racing fifth. Gold Dust Mike is sixth. Then my boy Blake, quick Yankee, BR's punch on the outside, and Nick J. Cole is last, 10 lengths off the lead. They got the half in 55 and two fifth seconds. DB Brody leads them onto the final turn by a length to Holly Hill Neutron in second. Here comes Fox Valley Michael, three wide from fourth into third, moving up around Fox Valley Riddler. Gold Dust Mike is in the outer flow. Master Fox needs room. He shuffled to fifth. Three lengths off the lead. Here's Fox Valley Michael up to challenge. D.B. Brody at the three quarters. Fox Valley Michael leads it by a head. D.B. Brody is there. Holly Hill Neutron is third. Fox Valley Riddler is fourth on the outside. Three quarters, 124 and three. Fox Valley Michael challenging D.B. Brody for the lead and now moves by for the top spot. Holly Hill Neutron is still toward the rail. Master Fox has to swing toward the far outside. Final eighth mile. Fox Valley Michael, D.B. Brody on the inside. And Master Fox in the center of the racetrack. Master Fox is charging after Fox Valley Michael. Master Fox, Fox Valley Michael, Master Fox, Buddy Simpson, yes! Fox Valley Michael was second. My boy Blake from way back to be third. The time, 1.53 flat. Buddy is 72 years young. He's one of the best in the business here in Illinois. Buddy Simpson, Master Fox. His longtime friend and business partner, H. Phil Pierce of Carmi, is about to join Buddy in the winner's circle. Clay Simpson is the co-owner of this Sportsmaster gelding. This is a full brother to the highly accomplished Fox Valley Jackson. The Simpsons got this gelding when he was in dam because they bought the mare, Foxy Fane, when she was sold at Delaware, Ohio, a couple of years ago. 153, by the way, folks, this ties the stakes record for the County Fair Challenge three-year-old pace. Try to grab a word with Buddy Simpson in a moment. We've got Phil Pierce and Buddy Simpson right here. Phil, hang on just a second. Buddy, first of all, when you were on the last turn, the last I saw you, you were locked on the rail in fifth. Next thing any of us know, somehow you got to the outside for clear sailing. When did that happen? Well, just as Tony went out a little bit, well, I got right out behind him, and from there on, it's 
pretty easy. You made it look very easy. Phil Pierce, you've been a partner of Buddy's for many, many years, and more importantly, you and Buddy have been friends for many years. How did this partnership come about? Well, when Van Carter's uh, nephew died and he was training horses, I come to Buddy and ask him, I think it was 1972, and asked him if he'd take the horses, and I told him, he raced them, I'd breed them, and I haven't opened my mouth on what to do. Just by luck, Clay and I were in Delaware, Ohio, when the mother of this colt sold, and Buddy had told Clay, said, if you can buy her for $1,000, you buy her. Well, he quit at 1000 I asked him why, and we gave 1800 for it, and she was carrying this colt. And that was a very good purchase. Phil, I'll tell you what, I think in 30 years' time, you've known Buddy that long, I don't think this guy has lost a thing, do you? No, not one thing. Not one thing. Well, guys, congratulations to Phil Pierce, to Buddy Simpson. Folks, how about a hand for our County Fair Challenge champions?